Open Source Sustainability. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 333. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 333, August 11th, 2019 edition. One Community is bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and creating open source and sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And that is what I want to talk about today, open source sustainability. I can't believe I haven't talked on this topic before. I've talked on every variety of it, it seems like, but uh, different versions of it. But I have not spoken on this specific, specifically on the term open source sustainability, which is the foundation of our project. I mean, we are open sourcing the physical foundations, the emotional foundations of sustainability to create teacher demonstration hubs to be built around the world to teach other people how to implement sustainability as well, and showing how this radical sustainability model can give people more of what they want, more time to do the things that they want, freedom from their financial situation, things like that, bringing everything in-house, creating self-sufficiency and self-sustainability so that people can live the way that they want to without the financial pressures associated with the power bill and by working cooperatively and collaboratively to give themselves more time and to spread this idea around the world. And so the physical foundations of open source sustainability are food, energy, and housing. And the emotional foundations of sustainability we've identified are fulfilled living practices, highest good education models, highest good economic models, and true stewardship. And putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability and open sourcing it all so that people can replicate around the world. And we're doing this because we know that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, then the idea of open source sustainability will spread on its own creating a global cooperative and a global collaborative of people working together to create even more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions so that people can build sustainably anywhere, easier, with more options, more variety, enough variety to meet the diverse needs of a diverse population and to create a sustainable civilization and a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. This is what we're up to. Open source sustainability is the path of the future Creating sustainable models that can be replicated anywhere in the world, either as individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration hub, bringing the resources where they're needed most to address poverty and crime and social injustice and inequality around the world. I mean, this is what we're all about. And so everything that you see happening here in the background of this video is our are what we've created so far. It's the seven different sustainable village models, it's a sustainable city center, it's the education model, the open source education model, and all of these things are designed to create community. Not necessarily sustainable communities, but it could be used for that, obviously. That's what we're creating. And so we'll build one community as a sustainable eco, sustainable eco village and community and an open source sustainability demonstration hub so that people can come, visit, experience it, stay in whichever the villages they're most interested in. And if they like what they see, if they like what they experience, take all the plans, all the do-it-yourself instructions, all the tutorials and resources, and go and replicate that somewhere else in the world. Taking their resources to where they are most effective and creating a teacher demonstration hub designed specifically to teach other people how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well, if they want to do it for humanitarian philanthropic reasons. If they just want to build a sustainable village or city for themselves, that's totally fine as well. But for those people that want to join us in our open source sustainability global transformation goal and plan, well, that's where we'll be a hands-on partner in helping with the whole process, answering questions directly, collaborating, cooperating with those groups as they create their own version of open source plans, tools, tutorials, resources, etc., and contribute them back to the global suite that we are already establishing, the global open source library of these tools, resources, do-it-yourself instructions, all this open source sustainability so it's accessible everywhere around the world in all the different ways that people need, in video form, in PDF format, in web format, and with also with people trained that can come and help people to set this up. If they want to go and live in a community, say in Africa or in Thailand or in Brazil, then somebody that wants that, those skills that has worked and lived at one community would be in demand. 
And so we're creating one community as a training hub where people can come and live there for the rest of their lives, which is what I want to do. This is how I want to retire. I want to retire to a place that's meaningful. I want to retire to a place where I have something to do for the rest of my life that I care about and enjoy. And what I'm doing right now is something I care about and enjoy. It's creating something that can change the world. Well, I'm going to do that in real space with people sitting in a room, cooperating, collaborating on how are we going to build this shipping container village? Or, oh, what about this problem? This is what I'm doing right now, but I'm doing it virtually with people all over the world. Imagine how much more effective I can be if I can bring the team together and we can sit in a room and work on these challenges together full time, talk about them over dinner. And so this is my idea of this is my dream of how I want to retire and how I want to live. And I think a lot of people share this dream of having the security of knowing that your food is grown without poisons and pesticides, that you're breathing clean air, that you're drinking clean and safe water, having the variety of a diverse group of people around you working together on a common goal, sharing common values, but different people from all over the world. This is my idea of a great time. Working together to create world change for the benefit of all humanity. Heck yeah, sign me up for that. You know, and so and the the diversity of social architecture and recreational activities that are built right into the model, everything within walking distance, you know, collaborating and cooperating on bills for the entire community. So instead of having to look at my personal power bill, we're talking, we have people that handle that for the entire community and the entire organization. So we're making decisions as a group and handling those things as a group, bringing together a think tank and brain trust, a group of people that can basically create anything that we want, do anything that we want, all for the highest good of all life on this planet. Open source sustainability for the highest good of all people and life on this planet. To create a better world for everybody. Yeah, this is what we're up to. So we're an all-volunteer team. We're a 100% unpaid team, including myself. We're a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. And this is what we're creating. And with all that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of open source sustainability as a pathway to global sustainability and a truly sustainable civilization for the benefit of all life on this planet. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued adding the content to the Most Sustainable Insulation Options page. This week, we finished the final six insulation sections. You can see all the new sections here. We'd say this brings the page to 80% complete. Brianna Olson, sustainability researcher, completed her ninth week as a member of the team. This week, she continued research for the most sustainable faucet options by researching and creating lists of the best faucet products for Kohler, Bro, and Toto. You can see some of this work here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, finished week 168 working on the Earth Big Village. This week, he continued rebuilding the domes by adding in the larger windows that are fire code compliant. You can see some of this work here. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 62nd week developing the Murphy Bed instructions. This week's focus was standardization of the page layouts, parts colors, labels, and other details for the nightstands. Every one of these images has been edited in some way during the last week. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, U Chiao Zhang, architectural designer and drafter, completed his 10th week helping update the city center AutoCAD and SketchUp files and designing the rainwater harvesting system. This week, he researched the related codes for plumbing design and updated the drain locations in the AutoCAD drawings. He also updated the gutter and downspout system strictly adhering to code to make sure the design has the best capacity. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with his 14th week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. This week, he continued working on the revised hydronic HVAC system. You can see some of this work here. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, also continued with her 19th week helping with the duplicate city center structural details. This week's focus was more design and placement work on the structure of the sliding glass door entryways. Mateo Spahetto, civil engineer, continued with his second week helping with the city center plumbing designs. 
This week, Matthias worked on standardizing the plumbing files as per the One Community AutoCAD template and started research on roadways design in the U.S. You can see some of this work here. One Community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued with week 20 of our development of the open source dams, lakes, and water retention landscape design tutorial. This week, we finished the dam construction notes, resources, summary, and FAQ sections. The core team also continued developing the behind the scenes content for the open source permaculture design page. This week's focus was design criteria, sector analysis details, and zonal planning, plus starting to format previous sections for addition to the website. You can see some of this work here. And the core team continued research for the 100 chicken coop. This week we finished using the 3D construction file to create the materials list, some of which you can see here. Last but not least, the core team continued developing the sheep and goat barn in SketchUp 3D. We designed the goat resting area, goat feeder, sheep feeding area, and mother and kids areas, as shown here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly theme lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued with week four of his work adding people and object additions to the redesigned and re-rendered sections of the Ultimate Classroom. Here are the latest drafts of the red, green, and two main room perspectives. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team updated our Who We Are and Who We Seek page to better reflect the current team and what we seek in those joining the team. You can see the new page here. Jin Hua, web marketer and graphic designer, also helped us create a better CSS Heading 2, further fine-tune our ad campaigns, and started outlining a strategy for a new donations campaign we're developing. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 40th week as part of the marketing team by evaluating last month's results, changing the highest good of all subgroup keyword qualifiers from exact to broad, and working on the site link's descriptions. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of open source sustainability. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog, uh, you can visit our website. There's so much information there. If you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. The easiest way to help out is through social media. We are on uh, about 15, 16 different social media networks. More than that, actually, we're on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, Pinterest, Instagram, all the big ones, LinkedIn, uh, to make it as easy as possible for people to contribute and to access our information. So if you want to help out in the easiest way possible, go there, go to our Facebook page, fan page, like a bunch of our posts, share the pages on our website that you like the most, help us get the word out. That's a really big deal. And um, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And last but not least, thanks. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your emails. If you're somebody that's donated to our project, we're 100% unpaid team, so 100% of donations goes towards forwarding our open source goals and mission. Thank you for that. Uh, thanks for watching to the end.
It makes a big difference. It helps our algorithm and uh, helps our videos to trend better and uh, just shows that extra little bit of support. So if that's the only way that you feel comfortable helping, thanks. It's a really big deal. Leave it playing in the background. It's a really big deal to let our videos play all the way through. It does actually support in a very unique way. So with all that said, thanks. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping up. Thank you.